All right, thanks for watching. And today we would like to calculate a classical integral, but this time with a new and clever trick. More precisely, consider the integral of one over one minus x squared dx. You could do it with partial fractions or even hyperbolic tricks up like in one of my videos, but instead let's use a method that's much quicker and much more elegant. Here's the idea. If this minus here were a plus, then we would be done, because then we could just use arctangent. Well, let's turn this minus into a plus by simply using complex numbers. More precisely, let's define u implicitly as follows. So let's define u via x equals i u, or if you want u equals minus i x, then dx is i du. And the nice thing is, 1 minus x squared becomes 1 minus i u squared, and that is 1 plus u squared. So in particular, this integral becomes integral of 1 over 1 minus x squared dx, then becomes integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared, and remember this i du. But then that's just i times arctangent of u. And then u is just x over i. So i arctangent of x over i plus a constant. And that's it. Now, here's the thing. When I saw this, I didn't believe it. So let's just double check that in fact this is true. So let's try to differentiate i arctangent of x over i and see what that gives us i arctangent of x over i prime so that becomes we have this i and then derivative of arctangent is 1 over 1 plus blah squared times x over i and then using the chen lu we get times 1 over i and oh my, the i's cancel out. And then we get x squared over i squared, which is just the same thing as minus x squared. So 1 over 1 minus x squared. Whoa, isn't that crazy? Apparently complex numbers work. Who would have thought? More than that, so uh, not only did we find the antiderivative, but I would like to remind you there are other possible antiderivatives that we've derived in another video. Namely, we've also shown that the integral of 1 over 1 minus x squared dx is equal to, I think, 1 half of ln of, what was it, uh, 1 minus, um, on 1 plus x over 1 minus x plus some constant, but it's also equal to arctench of x plus some different constant, let's say c1, c2, and we, now we found that it's also equal to i times arctangent of x over i plus possibly some different constant. And the cool thing is, plugging in x equals zero, in all those equalities, you actually find that all those constants are the same. So in particular, we do have this new identity that 1 half ln of 1 plus x over 1 minus x is actually the same as arctangent, and which is the same thing as i arctangent of x over i. How cool is that? So again, I hope you like this little calculus extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.